Hello, everyone. I would like to acknowledge the traditional lands that we are meeting on today. So imagine a world where voices can be heard by millions, where your connections span continents and your action can spark a global change. This is not science fiction. It is the reality of our digital age. So now you might be thinking, oh yes, teens are obsessed with their phones. Trust me, I do understand, I do believe and know the power of screens. But let me take you 20 years back when things were different. So my teenage years were shaped by the analog world. Back then, the internet wasn't something you carry in your pocket. It was a special trip, a visit to an internet cafe next door. Now picture this. My only online connection was limited to two hours a week at a small crowded internet cafe. And I would sit there very excited, waiting for my turn to message friends who lived only three streets away from my house. But later, I became more privileged with an access to a family computer. But it was shared by five siblings and a dialed up internet that never connected. Digital media platform was in its infancy. And my mornings were not too bad. Checking Instagram stories, my friend's outfit of the day on Snapchat or WhatsApp messages. But these experiences taught me the value of patience. Perhaps the patience waiting for that internet connection that never connected, or patience waiting for that, for my turn at that small internet cafe. But it has definitely taught me the joy of discovery and the importance of real human connections. So fast forward to today, we live in a vastly different landscape where teens are digital natives. They are born into a world where information is at the fingertips. And digital media is an integral part of daily lives. Looking back at my teen years, I now realize how small my world was. But that was everything I had. That was everything I could afford that was everything I could even understand or process. Teens today live in a completely different world. With screen in their pocket, information is everywhere. Can you imagine a world where the music you love can travel the world instantly? Or where you can collaborate with friends on projects, but you've never met these friends in person? or where a cause you're deeply passionate about can spark a global movement overnight. This is not imagination. It is the power of our interconnected world. But can you believe that teens today can connect with anyone, anywhere on the planet? They can collaborate with people they've never met in person. They can express themselves through videos, social media posts, and blogs. They can explore the world from their own bedroom. However, with this incredible access comes a big responsibility. We need to make conscious choices about how we use these technologies. So now let me put it this way. Social media platforms has turned the world into your neighborhood. And just like any neighborhood, it's up to you to make it a good one. Social media is not for fun. It is a tool for a change. With this incredible access comes a big responsibility. We need to make conscious choices on how we use these technologies. Social media, it's a tool for a change. And just like any tool, it needs a good users.
Remember Greta Thunberg? She started a global climate movement with a single hashtag, Fridays for Future. A movement that continues to grow, inspiring millions around the world. Right? Greta has promoted a generational shift in environmental awareness. She has compelled the international community to revisit international environmental policies. Digital media platform has given us the way to express themselves, has given us the tool to share our information and ideas about pressing societal issues like human rights issues, like poverty, inequality, social justice. You teens today seems more vocal about things that are important to them. But what if I tell you that someone your age, who may speak your language, got big dreams, has never ever touched a smartphone in their lives, would you be their eyes? Would you echo their voice? Would you project their dreams? Being a global citizen in the area of technology means caring about other people even if they live far away. Being a global citizen is, about, is not about the tech you have. It is about the heart you carry. It's about your ability to put yourself into someone else's shoes, feeling their struggle and celebrating their victory, their happiness. As a university lecturer, I do advocate for teaching and learning with purpose. I do believe that education should not only impart um, uh, knowledge, but also inspire students to engage with the word meaningfully. One of the ways I do this is through reflective assessment. In one of my assessments that I've proudly designed, I ask students to choose one social or environmental issues. I encourage my students to reflect on why they care about these issues, drawing on a personal story or a real story from their local community. And I do believe this reflective assessment help us to align our values and also our agenda, finding a common ground in our collective impact. Such an assessment do enhance critical thinking because you reflect on what matters to you. And it also fosters a sense of responsibility and empathy among students. Students feel that their voices are heard and they can use the information and the knowledge they are acquiring in the classroom into something that is really meaningful. They can reflect on these knowledge to help their own community in a certain way. I do recall one of my students who had shared, who had spoke reflectively about the lack of access to girls' education. And that reminds me of the great story of Malala. Have you heard of Malala? A teenager with a story that serves as a powerful example on how a single voice can amplify a global change. Malala, a teenager from Pakistan. She was passionate about education, inspired by her father, an educator and an advocate for women's education. In 2009, girls in Pakistan were banned from attending schools. Malala, who was just 11 back then, refused to be silenced. She started blogging for the BBC, detailing her life and her passion for education. Malala 
gained international attention, acknowledging her bravery. But she also became a target. In 2012, Malala survived a killing attempt. And her survival was a testament of her strength and the support of international community. Malala's story did not end with her recovery. Instead, it marked the beginning of a global movement for girls' education. Malala addressed, she continued to speak out addressing the United Nations on her 16th birthday. And she also co-authored the memoir, I Am Malala. She became the youngest ever Nobel Peace Prize laureate. And she became acknowledged for her struggles, for her fight uh, for the girls' education worldwide and the right for all children to education. The story of Malala amplifies how a single voice can drive a global change. A story of Malala underlines the power that we all have within. It acknowledges the power and underlines the need and the potential that we can all drive social change. It is within us. So social media platforms allow us to raise awareness about things that really matters to us. But being cautious about the impact you are creating is all what matters. So the key for leveraging technology and social media platform for the greater good lies in our ability to integrate it with our natural human values. Empathy, sympathy, compassion, understanding, ethical judgment are not abstract concepts, but are practical tools for creating a better world. You cannot rely on technology to drive a positive change and make an impact on the world. We must integrate it with our capabilities and our potential to lead that change. We can build a world that is not only connected, but kind and impactful. We can rely on our connection to build a future and we can use this technology to build a future that is not just connected and that is also with purpose, with heart. We can use this technology to build a future that, is, that does not bridge divide. So the story of Malala serves us as a great example as well as the story of Greta, two teenagers from different backgrounds, different circumstances that has led the world change in environmental awareness and also in the right for all children to education. We must use digital media platforms. We must use technology consciously, being cautious about and conscious about the impact we are creating and how we are leaving these words. It was fantastic learning about artificial intelligence, but how we use it, how can we rely on our human values is all what matters. Thank you.